Hey guys, it's Tamman here doing love and welcome to another episode of the Man to Man Coverage Podcast with my good friend and co-host Ben. Hey guys, how's it going? And as you can see, we're in a different setup with some face cams. So we have been talking about this, so here we go. This is gonna be a different format. We'll see how it goes. Um, but today we are about halfway through the NFL season. So we're gonna be doing our predictions for the rest of the season, how teams will do. So starting off here, we're going to be talking about the AFC South. In first place, I have the Tennessee Titans finishing 11 and 5. Second place, we have the Indianapolis Colts at 10 and 6. Third place, the Houston Texans at 8 and 8. In fourth place, the Jacksonville Jaguars 1 and 15. Yes, only one win for Jacksonville on the season. Ben, what predictions do you have for the AFC South? And then we'll discuss them. Uh, right. So my first two, first two teams, Titans and Colts, have the same record as yours, 11-5, 10-6. Um, but I have very, very different records for the Texans especially, okay. but the Jaguars too. I have the Texans going 4-12, and 12, and oh. I have the, uh, the Jaguars going 3-13. and 13. So okay. – uh, Let's talk about this Houston team. So, yeah. you, you, I have them two or three more wins than you have. You have four more wins than me. You have them at eight and eight, right? Okay. So, I have the Texans. So, I have them beating the Browns, beating the Patriots. I think they'll lose to Detroit on Thanksgiving. I think it'll be close, though. I have them beating the Colts, beating the Bears, beating the Bengals, and beating the Titans. I think the Titans – might rest the stars week 17. If they don't, I'll see them going 7-9. and nine, But I have them beating Cincinnati, New England, Cleveland, Indianapolis, and Chicago. Interesting. Yeah, so I see some, some differences here. So I have them – I have them losing to Cleveland. I don't think they have the capability of keeping up with that team. Um, Cleveland has struggled against winning teams, but against losing teams, they've been very dominant, and I think that will continue. Uh, I did have them beating the Patriots. I had them losing to the Lions. I do think that one is going to be close, though. I had the Colts actually beating the Texans. I know it's a divisional game, and typically I just give this to the home team, but uh, the Texans are so bad this year that I just really I don't think they're going to be able to compete with the Colts like in either of the games this year. I have Indianapolis winning at home in week 15, too. I have them beating the Bears. Uh, The Bears stink. Uh, Cincinnati is a a team that they could beat, but I have Cincinnati winning that. Um, They're on a – yeah, Joe Burrow is playing really, really good, and against a really crappy defense like that, he's just going to eat. And that's bad news for the Texans. Uh, and then I have the Titans beating them in week 17. I don't think the Titans will rest their starters because Indianapolis will probably be pretty close to them for the rest of the season. Uh, huh. Yeah, that's my take on that. Okay. So even if the Titans win, I saw them at seven wins, which is funny. I, I'm defending Houston because I was saying they'll do badly this season. Um. So starting off with the Colts, I think they'll split games. They've always been competitive, and the Colts' defense started out pretty good, but recently they've been not as great as I think a lot of us would have thought, and I think Deshaun Watson has been playing fantastic this season, and I think they'll at least um, split games with Indianapolis. Um, I think that they can beat the Browns. Um, Yes, the Browns' defense up front is good, but – I think that Deshaun Watson will be able to take advantage of turnovers against Baker Mayfield. And I think against the Bengals, J.J. Watt and that crew are going to really feast with that Cincinnati offensive line and how bad they are. So I have them um, about seven or seven, eight wins. But the bottom line is here is we're going to move forward that we don't have the Texans making the playoffs. I think – I, I could see them getting five wins by. I think Deshaun Watson has impressed me this year. Um, and then, Ben, what are the two games you have the Jaguars winning? Um, I could see them looking at the schedule. I could see them maybe – I mean, I don't know. They have um, 
they I, I the Steelers, I don't see them winning that. Cleveland, I don't see them winning oh, yeah. that. Um the Vikings I think will win. Tennessee, I think will win. The Ravens. I know we don't like the Bears here, but I think the Bears against a young Chicago team. And Allen Robinson, I think, will have a good day against his former team when they play on week sixteen in the Colts. Um I just don't see this team really getting a, a win in this tough schedule. Yeah, so I think that – so the, one of the games I have them winning is the Bears game because okay. I the Bears just stink. And <laughs> the Jaguars can typically do enough against that kind of a defense to put up at least 14 points, which is more than the Bears probably will put up in that game. I disagree. I um, okay. Yeah, I – it's possible, but I mean, looking at looking at this team, those are just two teams. Like that's a team I think they can sneak a win off of because the Bears just aren't a very good football team. Um, they had a really easy schedule to start the year, which gave them a kind of good record. And then I think they might sneak one at Tennessee, but that is just a total out there divisional game, like me trying to just give them a win, I guess. I don't know. I feel like m- maybe they might be able to sneak it off. They don't really match up well with the Titans. Um, yeah, but I don't know. The Titans' defense kind of stinks, so maybe Gardner Minshew or Jake Luton, whoever is playing in that game, will uh, surprise us. Yeah, I could see that happening. I think the Bears win. I think they just – Match up super well. The Jaguars secondary is really not that good. Allen Robinson is really good. So I think he's going to have a big day. I don't know. I think it'll be a game. We'll just kind of see what the teams are. Moving on to the AFC East. Um, so here's what I have. And first place at Miami, 10-6. and six. The Bills at 9-7. and seven. The Patriots at 6-10. and 10. And the Jets at 0-16. Oh Sorry, yeah. Jets fans. Um, ben, what do you have for the AFC East? Our, our predictions were kind of close. I think uh, okay. so. I had the Bills in first at eleven and five, and then the Dolphins at eleven and five as well. Um, they're in second though. Patriots at five and eleven, and the Jets at zero and sixteen. So poor Jets. Um, so the Jets these... are just. Hey, you know what? Maybe they might get one on the Patriots though. You never know. That, oh, that game was crazy. I know we're not doing the week recap, but just to talk about that game real quick. That was insane. Um, so I don't want to go through much of these games since or these schedules since we're kind of close. Um, the Patriots, um, the one win I gave them is I think they'll beat the Dolphins, Bills, and Jets to end off the season. I think that Bill Belichick schemes pretty well, and this team almost beat Buffalo, so I think they'll get one off of the Bills. You know, Cam Newton has been very up and down this season. I do think they have some really – Tough games. You have Baltimore, Houston, and Arizona the next three weeks. That's three young quarterbacks who are really talented. And I think the defense is going to struggle. I could see them beating the Chargers, actually. Maybe they beat the Chargers and lose to Buffalo. But I think that the Patriots is just not their year. Um, the Bills, I, I want to touch on this because the Dolphins record we have in, within one game of each other. Uh-huh. Um, I take it you have them beating New England. That's probably the one game. Yeah, different. that's the one game. Um, I could actually – I think looking at this schedule, I think that Raiders game will be good. Yeah, I think that will be probably uh, – yeah, that'll be a, that'll be an interesting game. I think that could decide some playoff stuff. Um, so, overall – Huh? You said Raiders game? For the Dolphins? Oh, I was looking at the Bills schedule. Oops, my bad. I, okay. I didn't, uh, yeah. But if Miami and Las Vegas are both on the uprising, that could be a really interesting game come playoff time. Um, so the Dolphins schedule, I could see them losing to the Chargers. I think they'll be a fun Herbert to a game, but I think they'll win. I think they'll be Broncos, the Jets, um, the Bengals, I think they'll lose to the Chiefs. Possibly I could see an upset win here in Miami with the Chiefs. Ryan Forrest has been pretty impressive with the defensive coaching. Yeah, he has been really impressive. Um, 
looking at the rest of their games, I the Raiders one was probably the hardest one for me to pick. Uh, their schedule, though, like the rest of the years, is pretty easy. I think they'll handle business against the Chargers, Broncos, and Jets, and the Bengals. Um, as much as I love Joe Burrow, I think this might be the first game where he doesn't look that great because his Dolphins defense is really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Chiefs have looked kind of mortal this season, but it's <laughs> only one team has beaten them still, so we'll see. Um so I have them beating the Patriots. Uh, the Patriots won at home earlier this year, and they're on the downhill, and Miami will be at home, and it's a divisional game, so I just gave it to Miami. Okay. Um, the Vegas game is probably the closest game that they'll have, I would imagine, um, going forward here. Uh Yeah, so I, I have the Raiders winning that one, but it really could go either way. I – I don't think it would surprise anybody if the Dolphins won that one. I did also have them beating Buffalo in week 17 just because I think the Dolphins were fighting for a playoff spot when I was doing this. Yeah, they were. Okay. Like they needed to win to get in, and Buffalo didn't. So I think that would be the deciding factor in that week. Okay, I can see that. Um, look at my Bills prediction. I, 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 I forgot. I put the Seahawks. So the Bills one. So I have the Bills at 10 and 6. I have them losing to the Cardinals, being the Chargers, being the Niners, losing to the Steelers. I could actually see them winning that game. Um, the Bills are an interesting team because they're like – I have not seen a complete game from them. There's been moments where Josh Allen looks incredible and the defense doesn't play good. But then there's been weeks where the defense looks good and the offense struggles. So I like the Bills, but I don't know how they're doing the playoffs. I just don't think they're a complete team. If they end up winning this Super Bowl, cool. It wouldn't shock me, but I just don't see this as a complete football team. They have not had a complete week, and at least in my opinion. Um, if you have anything to add, Ben, I'll be interested to hear, but I just don't see that happening. Um, yeah, I, I agree. I think, I think they've had a few really good weeks where they might've had some like complete games, but, um, yeah, I, I think they have struggled to be consistent this year, but mm-hmm. regardless of that fact, uh, this Arizona game will be interesting because Arizona has mm-hmm. had that same issue. I think this one really well, could go either way. It's go well, I mean, they had that game against the Lions where they had like a hundred passing yards. Dolphins had a lot of turnovers. Um, well, I mean, they had a complete game with the Jets and Cowboys, but those teams are pretty bad. I get what you yeah. mean. I think it'll be a good game. I think it'll be close. Yeah, I do have them beating Pittsburgh. That's I think the only difference I have. Um, I don't know. I just didn't want to make Pittsburgh sixteen and zero, so I had to. That was probably the hardest game left on their schedule, so I gave them that one. Um, yeah, they're. I would hope Buffalo smacks Denver, San Francisco, and uh, that Chargers game. Honestly, the Chargers. I feel like all their games have been really close, but they just can't win them. Which, which seems to be every year with the Chargers. It doesn't matter who the quarterback is. Um, I, I don't know if that says something about the coaching or, uh, or just maybe the defense. I know they're not. They don't have Derwin James, but uh, they still have most of their other players. Um. But yeah, I still think the Bills are gonna finish eleven and five. But uh, yeah, them in Miami are, I think, going to have a very tight race for that uh, top mm-hmm. seed in the East. Yeah, um, definitely love the way the AFC East was going. You know, the Patriots being dominant for so many years, all the Super Bowls. It's nice to see other teams, and these are two very young teams, so I think they're gonna be good in years to come. I don't think other team will win the Super Bowl, but I think. Teams will show a fight in the playoffs, and I think they'll be a good team for years to come. Um, moving on to the AFC West, uh, let's. Uh, I feel like we can go through this quickly because I ha- I have the Chiefs at fourteen and two, Raiders at ten and six, Chargers six and ten, Broncos five and eleven. Um, Chiefs, I have them winning out, except all games except the Tampa Bay one. I think that Chiefs Buccaneers game will be the game of the year when we're all said and done, at least up there. Um, that's what I have. Um, 
I think the Falcons and Saints games will be fun and close. I could actually see the Saints winning. I think the Chiefs will either lose to the Saints or Buccaneers, one of those two NFC South teams. I just think the Buccaneers defense um, defense will put up a better fight against the Chiefs. But either way, um, I just have the Chiefs at 14-2. and two. The Raiders at 10-6. and six. I have them really winning a lot of their games. I think they'll beat the Broncos this week, lose to Kansas City. Then I think they'll beat the Falcons, Jets, beat the Colts, lose to the Chargers, beat the Dolphins, lose to the Broncos. Um, and then I have just the Chargers at 6-10. and 10. They have a very um, – I don't know. I have them up and down with games. They're super hard to predict, and the Broncos is just not their year. So, Ben – what are your thoughts on the AFC West teams for the rest of the season? I feel like ours is going to be pretty similar. The Chiefs being the number one seed and yeah. Yeah. So Chiefs and Raiders were literally a one game difference. I had the Chiefs at 15 and one and the Raiders at 11 and five. Um, and I had Denver at three and 13. So those two wins right there, that's what I, I gave those to Vegas and Kansas city and mm-hmm. LA was at six and 10 as well. Um, like you said, it's not the Broncos' year, and even though they kept a pretty competitive game with the Chargers, uh, I feel like the talent disparity between them and the Raiders and them and the Chiefs especially is just – I don't think it matters if it's a divisional game. I don't think they're going to even be close. Um, and, you know, it, the Broncos, yeah, it's just not their year. They've had a bunch of injuries. Drew Locke hasn't really played that great in some games. Uh, it, it's, it's been a rough year. I, I'm sure Denver just wants to get out of the season with as many healthy players as they can. Yeah, that's that's a good statement. I know we're not doing the week recap, but I do want to mention how exciting a Chiefs-Panthers game was. I, I thought – Wow, the Carolina was able to hold in, and then that Raiders Chargers game was crazy. I still think it was a catch for those of who who watched it. The main question I have with the AFC West is Drew Lock. Ben, what are your thoughts on Drew Lock and the Broncos? Because like, there's some cool plays he had like in this Falcons game, but I don't know if he's consistent. I don't know. I I like Drew Lock coming out. I just don't know where he's at. He seems a lot of people use a Josh Allen comparison, and I disagree. I think Allen had his moments of brightness. He just needed to be a lot more round in his technique. Drew Locke seems really up and down. There's not one issue that he has. I think he should be more mobile in the pocket. His accuracy, he just seems very on and off. Um, it might unfortunately not be Drew Locke's place here in Denver, which is unfortunate because I know fans loved him coming out of the draft, but I could see him succeeding somewhere else. Um, he reminds me of just kind of a mini Jameis Winston with some more issues. But, Ben, what, what's your thoughts on Drew Locke? Um, yeah, unfortunately, like most Broncos quarterbacks, since Peyton Manning's retired, he has some issues. And I'm not sure how much of that is um, him having half a second to throw the ball because of the line or because of all the injuries that are going on. Uh he he does have two of the best running backs in the league. Uh, Philip Lindsay and Melvin Gordon are both really good running backs. Um, but they are missing – they haven't had a tight end in a really long time, it feels like. Noah Fant is playing well, but mm-hmm. he's missed a few games this year, which doesn't help. Uh, Sutton, like I said, out for the season. It's just, you know, there's a lot of injuries that just went wrong for this team. And uh, Drew is – pretty young but I think his future is more promising than Daniel Jones and Dwayne Haskins so at least there's that to take away from yeah I think um I think yeah he just I think maybe it's as you said this ever since Peyton Manning's with timing because the Broncos have been like this team ever since and it's like every year they win like five to six games they win some really cool games, but then they lose some others that they should win. I just think for them, they need to just pick up a really good quarterback because they're not in a position to get a really talented one. They're not like awkward second round. But anyways, yeah. um, moving on to the – also, 
Bradley Chubb has been very disappointing in my eyes. Um, he has not really panned out in as he was a top five pick, and he has not. I know Von Miller's injured. I hope he gets better prayers there. But Bradley Chubb, when you're picking him in the top five, he should be able to produce a lot on his own. And he's unfortunately not getting that production. I I don't think he's a bust. I think he's just very underwhelming. Yeah, I'll agree with that. I haven't watched a lot of Broncos football. They're just not on my TV very much. And they're rarely in the national spotlight either. But, um, yeah, I haven't heard much of Bradley Chubb since he's been drafted, so I'll take your word for it. Yeah, and even though we haven't watched that many Broncos games, just his lack of name in the news um, can kind of be telling. Moving on to the AFC North, um, I have the Ravens as 13-3. and three. The Steelers with the same record, the Browns at eight and eight, and the Bengals at five, ten, and one. Ben, what rec what what, what records do you have? Because I have a feeling we might differ. Yeah, might I've differ got some here. very, very different uh records for these teams. So um, our Cincinnati prediction is the exact same. I have them at five, ten, and one. <laughs> um but Who do you have them beating? I have I, them beat the, I had them beating the Texans, which I know you didn't have them winning. So who who do you have them beating? So I think they'll come out of the bye. I could actually see them being the football team. I don't know. I like the football team. Yeah. I have faith in them. But actually, I'm going to switch it. So I now, I now have them at six wins. Okay. I have them being the football team, the Giants. I just have no faith in the Giants. Yeah. The Cowboys and Steelers. Yeah. Oh, you have them beating the Steelers? Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know about that. That's yeah. – Here's the deal. I think it'll it's be one of there. those division upset games. I just see it happening. I think towards this point, the Steelers might get a bit more comfortable. I think the Bengals, Joe Burrow will have his moment. I know it's very weird, but I think it could happen. Remember last year when the Cardinals like beat the Seahawks in Seattle? Yeah, I think but the, ben- the Steelers, like they've had uh, – They almost I don't lost know. to Dallas. I'm not saying I they're know, bad. But- I saw them as my – Number one team for power rankings, you know, number one, but could happen. Um, so wait, you have the okay, continue, Ben. So we both, are, yeah. I have the Bengals at six, nine, and one, somewhere around there. Yeah, I, yeah, so I had them beating Houston, Dallas, and Washington, and those were the games I had them winning. I think the Giants might beat them because they're coming off a bye week. Uh, and I know the Giants defense is actually not bad. Um, they could give Burrow some issues here and there. Mm, yeah. Um, and the Bengals' defense isn't great either, so Daniel Jones might be able to take advantage of that. We'll see. Um, but that could totally go in Cincinnati's favor, and they could go 6-9-1. and one. Um, Yeah, but that's all I have to say about Cincinnati. It's not Joe Burrow to, looks really good. He has played it very well this year and uh, you know there are a few games where I thought he was just throwing a lot and that's all his stats were coming out to be but uh watching him progress throughout the year he slowly started to turn those stats into more than just you know throwing a bunch it, it's it's paying off he's playing really really well uh I can't believe they beat the Titans that's um that's ridiculous yeah, yeah um T Higgins looks incredible he's just mm-hmm. I think all in all, he might be the best wide receiver from this draft class when we're done. I think he'll be close, but this wide receiver class is fantastic. I'm sure yeah. as a Vikings fan, you're happy with Justin Jefferson. Anyways, Ben, what do you have for the rest of the AFC North? Right, so for the, less, the rest of the AFC North, I have Pittsburgh at 15-1, and one, and I already talked about the one loss I gave him to the Bills. Uh, I have Baltimore at 11-5 and five and Cleveland at 11-5, and five. but Baltimore – will make that seventh seed because I have them beating Cleveland twice, I think. Who do you have their losses to? All right, let me see here. I So let's see. I think they'll beat New England. I think they'll lose to Tennessee. Okay. Um, they'll That's lose to Pittsburgh. They'll beat Dallas, lose to Cleveland once, beat Jacksonville, beat the Giants, beat the Bengals, and uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so I have them losing um, to the Titans, being the Patriots. I know that was out of order, but I have those events happening. I think that they'll beat the Steelers. They're really close. 
despite losing to them in week eight. And I think they'll split. I think Lamar is going to have a nice bounce back game on Thanksgiving. I think it'll be close. And I think that Ravens will win. I have them beating Dallas. I don't think there's any way they beat the Browns. I think that this defense is incredible. And I think they'll force Baker Mayfield into making turnovers. I think they'll then beat the Jaguars, Giants, and Bengals. Now, here's what concerns me about this schedule is that they're Last four, their last five out of four teams are pretty easy. Cowboys are easy. Browns are decent. Jaguars, Giants, and Bengals are easy. I'm worrying the Ravens will coast, and that they're going to kind of be one and done in the playoffs. I think one of the reasons the Titans last year were so good was they had to fight for the playoff spots. So I could see the Ravens being one and done. Mm -hmm. um, ben, do you agree with that? I do. So here's here's why I think that. So like I said, I have Pittsburgh at fifteen and one, Baltimore at eleven and five, um, and Pittsburgh is my number two seed in the AFC, and Baltimore is my number seven seed. So I have Pittsburgh beating them twice in the regular season, and then they play each other in the wild card week after Baltimore plays, Ooh. like you said, four easy teams. Whereas uh, Pittsburgh, on the other hand, they have some harder games at the end of the season. Um, they have to play Buffalo in week 14. They have Cincinnati, which, uh, well, I mean, I haven't seen them play Cincinnati yet. So maybe Cincinnati puts up a good fight against mm -hmm. Pittsburgh. Uh, they play the Colts, which should be a competitive game. Um, and then they play Cleveland. Uh, the, I, I'm higher on Cleveland than you are, but mm -hmm. um, I don't think they're a bad team. You have to play well to beat them. Uh, if you give them opportunities, I think they can beat you. Uh, it's really – if Baker Mayfield isn't asked to do a whole lot um, and make a lot of bad decisions, I think Cleveland will be more competitive. And since Odell Beckham is out for the rest of the year, I think Baker might not uh, try and force as many throws into spots as he does. And with Nick Chubb back, now they've got him and Kareem Hunt back there. Running the ball will be an absolute breeze for this team. So uh, it could be kind of a, a mid-season turnaround for these guys. Um, but, yeah, I do think that Pittsburgh is going to have some harder opponents. Baltimore is going to have some softer ones, mm -hmm. get a little bit too cocky, and then lose in the first round. Yeah. I don't know. I just have no faith in the Browns. I was high on them, and then everyone's like, the Browns suck. And I think it just took convincing from people to bog me down. Like, okay, you guys win. Um, I, you know, Baker Mayfield is just – the turnovers concern me. And I thought, okay, in this new system of Kevin Stefanski, like I have them beating the Eagles, the Jaguars, and the Jets. Um, I have them losing to Houston, Titans, Ravens, and the Giants because I think they can run the ball well. That part of the Kevin Stefanski scheme is great. Miles Garrett's playing pretty well. I just don't see how they will pass well. Maybe – I think that this prediction for the AFC North is going to really be decided to see how the Browns do these next couple of week, weeks. If they look stronger, then I'll say, okay, the Browns, they proved me wrong. Um, I have the Steelers losing to the Colts, Bengals, and Ravens. I think the Ravens will get their revenge. Upset with Cincy, and I think the Colts can hold off the pressure. I do think, though, Phil Rivers' Big Ben rematch of that 0-4 draft class I could see the Steelers winning that um I you know I think they'll be one of the best teams so overall um real quick I have the Chiefs Ravens Titans Bills S Steelers that's the five seed okay I'll switch Baltimore and Pittsburgh seeding I don't know how Baltimore's a two seed okay make Baltimore the five seed Las Vegas and the Dolphins so Ben what's your AFC seeding in order uh, so mine is Kansas City at fifteen and one, Pittsburgh at fifteen and one, uh, Tennessee at eleven and five, Buffalo at eleven and five. Um, who's my five seed? Where are they? The Raiders at eleven and five, the Miami Dolphins at eleven and five, and the Baltimore Ravens at eleven and five, and then the Browns miss out at eleven and five. So I have a lot of <laughs> a lot of eleven and five teams, um, and I also I have the Colts missing the playoffs at ten and six. I don't think they're going to get there, um, and mainly because I don't think they're going to be able to win that Pittsburgh game. Philip Rivers against a really good defense like that sounds like a recipe for disaster. 
Um, he just absolutely collapsed against Baltimore this past weekend. Like, the Colts defense gave him so many chances to, like, redeem himself and score, and then he just turned the ball over. Um, yeah, not – the Colts have not looked great with Phillip Rivers under center. Um, I almost yeah. wonder if they start to slip here, if they'll put in Jacoby Brissett. Um, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, those are my, my AFC teams making the playoffs. Yeah, um, it's unfortunate because I love the Phil Rivers signing. And I'm like, oh, he has a clean pocket. He'll be able to throw the ball better. And unfortunately, that has not happened. Mm-hmm. I think that for some reason, I think that's just part of Phil's tendencies for the turnovers. I, it just has not worked out. And I think that the Colts should have surrounded him with more talent. Yes, T.Y. Hilton's great. I like T.Y. Hilton. But you needed to get some other wide receivers. I know they drafted Michael Pittman. I think you just need another playmaker on this team. I like the Colts. I like the coaching staff. I like the defense. I just don't really like the way the things are going out for them. And we have all the teams making the playoffs for the AFC. Uh, moving on to the NFC, which I think is going to be a lot um, a lot easier for us because I think we agree. Um, starting off, let's go easy. NFC East real quick. Giants 3-13. and Cowboys 4-12. and Washington 6-10. and The Eagles have a very brutal schedule. Bottoms going six nine and one. I mean, this Eagle schedule, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's seriously the hardest schedule. I mean, I have them. They have the Browns, Seahawks, Packers, and Saints in a row. I yeah. do. I I think they could even now lose to the Cardinals. I'm going to switch that. So now I have them at five wins, but I think that will win the division. Get them beating the Cardinals. Well, now, what now, universe? now, not anymore. I still think though. I still say this, that whoever wins the NFC East, now I have Washington winning it. Okay. <laughs> Just um, throw a wrench in your entire playoffs. <laughs> I, I think whoever wins the NFC East will win a playoff game. I will what? put that claim down. And oh, I'll, no, no, yeah. no, 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 get out of here with that, get out of here with that. None of these teams are even close to competitive. I think they will. I have the Eagles winning the division at 5-10-1, and, and that's if they don't blow it to the Giants – Washington or whoever the hell is the Cowboys quarterback. Who do you, Ben, wait, who do you have? Wait, okay, hold on. So I did read in my predictions, the Eagles, I have them winning the division at 5 10 when I had Washington being Seattle, which we, we, we fixed that <gasps> prediction. This was before Holy the crap. season. This oh, was before okay. the season. Yeah, I think. Anyways, Ben, I so <laughs> we have the Eagles winning the division. We're good. Let's move on from the NFC East. I'm still saying whoever wins this division will win a playoff game. Who? Oh, I have them playing. Okay. They're going to be – Okay, well, here's what makes seed. me think that. I want to explain this. I have this, them playing the Saints in their first game. That is going to be brutal. Oh, so do I. That's cool. They're, they're, you think they're going to beat the Saints in the playoffs? Not, not anymore. But, okay. Here, <laughs> I don't All right, know. What's I your just, reasoning? What's your reasoning? I feel like if it's Washington, you have Alex Smith, you have Ron Rivera, who's had some success in the postseason <laughs> – I think their defense isn't bad, and the Eagles tend to win these wacky, crazy games. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But, I, okay, anyways, moving on. I, I think it'll be an upset win. I think it'll be like that. You know that Bears-Eagles game that happened? I think it'll be something like that where they're like, how did this team win? But the Eagles were better than – I don't know. Missed field goal and Mitch Trubisky. That's how. <laughs> well, there we go. Um, I don't know. I could see an upset happening. I don't think it will. But I could see it. You never know. Anyways, um, the NFC West, I have the Seahawks 13-3. and three. Um, I have them beating the Rams, Seahawks, the Rams, Cardinals, Eagles, Giants, Jets, football team, Rams. I actually think they'll beat the Niners. I have them initially being San Fran, but that was before the injuries and with all that happening. The Seahawks have a super easy schedule. I mean, the Giants and Jets, yeah, he wins. Eagles, they've had really good luck against. I just don't see this team really losing any more games. Um, and then for the Cardinals, I have them at eleven and five. Um, I have them. Let's see. So I have them. Oh, they. Oh, I actually have them at twelve and four now. I had okay. No, no, I don't. 
I have it on my 11. Five, there you go. So I have them losing to Seattle. I think they'll beat the Patriots. I think it'll be fun. Cam Newton, Cal Murray. I think it'll be close, but I think the Cardinals will pull away and win, like, I think it'll be, like, 17-13 at the half, but then I think they'll win, like, 31-16. Yeah, sounds about right. Um, I think they'll beat the Rams. I think it'll be close, though. They have an easy win against the Giants. I think they'll beat the Eagles at home, beat San Fran, and lose to the Rams week 17. I think the Rams will be fighting for a playoff spot, and they match up very well. I think both Rams-Cardinals games could be two really interesting games. I have L.A. at 9-7. and seven. Let's just double check this. So they're on a bye week. They come back. I think they oh, – they're on a bye week this week. I think they lose to Seattle. They lose to Tampa Bay. Two tough games. Um, I think they beat the Niners. I think they lose to the Cardinals. But I think they beat two AFC East teams. I think they'll beat the Patriots and the Jets. So I think they'll get those two wins. I could see Bill Belichick having a nice scheme against Sean McVay, but I don't think he has the personnel to do it. I think they'll lose to Seattle and beat the Cardinals. So very up and down thing for the Rams. Why them at nine and seven, and at the Niners, I have them unfortunately at five and eleven, just with injuries. The only team I have in them beating is the Cowboys. That's the only team I have them winning against the Bills, Rams. Football team, Cardinals in Seattle, I think will all get wins. Maybe they beat the Washington football team. I don't know. But overall, I have the Niners at 5-11. and 11. Ben, I feel like your predictions are similar here to, to that. So Seattle, 14-2. Yeah. Cardinals, 11-5. Rams, 9-7. Niners, 5-11. and 11. Yeah, so mine are almost exactly similar. It's just I have the Rams beating Seattle this weekend. Um, so that's literally the only difference, though. My Rams are ten and six. My Seahawks are thirteen and three. Cardinals are eleven and five. San Fran's five and eleven. Oh my uh, gosh! What's this? San Fran's the easiest to talk about, so I'll talk about that. The only other game I could see them winning is Washington. Outside of the Cowboys game, I think they'll beat the Cowboys, but mm-hmm. uh, Washington might not win that game. But I think they will. Um, uh, Seattle, I think, will split with the Rams. I think they'll lose this weekend. They're not playing – well, I th- what are they? They've lost two in a row, right? Okay, can I please pull up Seattle? Schedule? Um, have they lost two in a row? They, they – No, they've no, lost they two of their last three. Okay, so they beat San Francisco, which doesn't really say much. Um, they lost to the Bills, Cardinals, uh, another divisional game against a inconsistent but – Still dangerous team in the Rams. I think the Rams coming off a of bye week will probably oh. win this. Sean McVay is a very good coach, and I think he'll prepare well for this. Um, but then I think the Seahawks win out the rest of the year, um, and that puts them in the first seed. Yeah, okay. puts them in the first seed. Cardinals, 11-5. and five. I think we have all of the same games. Um the only two losses I have for them are to Seattle and the Rams. I think they'll win all their other games. Um, and, yeah, that pretty much sums up my NFC West predictions, though. Sounds good, man. I will say this. This Bills-Cardinals game is going to be really fun. I could see the Cardinals losing another game. I, did not, I didn't have them losing to the Lions or Panthers. I had them be, losing to Miami as an upset, but I could see them losing – one other game that's an upset. I think they're a very young team that's talented. I think their defense is questionable. I think that the Seahawks could go to the Super Bowl. I don't know if they'll win it, but I think Russell Wilson's playing at that level. Mm-hmm. I think that the Cardinals will win one game, maybe two. I think they'll be kind of like last year's Titans where they put up a fight. I just don't know if they'll make it to the big game. The Rams, I have them winning maybe one game more, one and done. And then the Niners, unfortunately, with injuries. So moving on to the NFC South, which now kind of changes with this um, recent game. Um, I know we're not doing the weekly reviews, but that saints Bucks game was crazy. All right, that was insane. Um, that does not really change my predictions, though. The Buccaneers, I have them going 12-4. and four. So the, after the Saints loss, I think they'll bounce back and win three games. The Panthers, the Rams, and the Chiefs. I think they'll win all three of those. Then they go off a bye week, come back, beat the Vikings, beat the Falcons, lose to the Lions, and beat the Falcons. So 
I have them at 12 and 4. Yeah, I have them at 12 and 4 as well, except I have them winning out the rest of the year. So I'm not sure how that. Uh... Wait, where does the other loss come from? They lost to the Saints, Bears, Saints. Who do I have them losing to? Wait, what? <laughs> Just they're 12 and 4 here, and then I don't have. <laughs> it's not giving. What? Hold on. I could see them losing maybe to the Rams, actually. Like you said, Sean McVay prepared as well. Saints, Bears. I could see that potentially happening. Um, but I mean, that Buccaneers defense is good. But if you give up 38 points, I don't know. It's a very tough team. They have the talent. It's just, can they execute it? Oh, one of the Panthers games isn't on here for me. I have them losing a game to the Panthers. Really? Yeah. Wait, huh. no. No, it is on here. What? I have less games than I do. I don't know what's going on with this. Anyways, we we both have them at 12 and yeah. 4. Okay, sounds good, Ben. Um, do you think the Buccaneers will win the Super Bowl this year? I I think they will bounce back after this and continue to play well. So, mm-hmm. I think they will. I don't know, you want to talk about the playoffs at the end? Because yeah, I'm just asking a, a, a question. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, I think, I, so. I think, I think the Buccaneers cool. will bounce back. I'm not overreacting because for me, it was a well fought game by the Saints. They schemed well. Sean Payton's a talented coach. I, I think that the Buccaneers, that's why I have them losing to the Lions now is because, like, they're up and down, you know. They've lost some games, and it's like, really? I think just Matt Patricia, knows Tom Brady, Matt Stafford, I think is a quarterback who can play well against that defense. And that's why I, I think maybe the Chiefs could win and maybe the Rams could because they know that defense. So Sean McVay and Andy Reid. But I think by the bye week, we'll know about Tampa Bay. I really think we will after those two Rams Chiefs games. Um all right, Ben. Then we go to the Saints who I have them at twelve and four. Um I have them being the Niners, being the Falcons. I think they'll beat the Broncos, lose to the Falcons. They seem to always split games. I think they'll beat the Eagles, lose to the Chiefs, beat the Vikings, beat the Panthers. So I'm not the highest person on the Saints. I'll be the first to tell you, but I do have them winning out except two games. Um, Drew Brees has played better, definitely, as the season has gone on. This team had an excellent win against the Buccaneers, so that is my thoughts on that game. Um, yeah, I have the Saints at 11-5. and five. Only difference is uh, – I have them, yes, I have them beating San Francisco, Atlanta, Denver. I have them dropping one to Atlanta, beating the Eagles, losing to the Chiefs. I don't think that game is actually even going to be close. I think the Chiefs will manhandle the Saints. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have the Saints beating the Vikings, but you never know, even if it's a regular season Mm -hmm. game, could maybe throw a wrench in there, especially if the Vikings are playing really well. And I have no, them dropping no. one to Carolina. I think Carolina is going to play spoiler in week 17. They're Ooh. not going to let uh, Drew Brees catch Tom Brady and crew um, in the division hunt. I like that idea. Moving on here to the rest of the two NFC South teams. The Panthers have 3-13. I like really? them. You know what? You know what? Wait, wait, wait. No. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. So I have them losing to Tampa Bay, Detroit, and Minnesota. I think Matt Stafford will be good against a young defense. I think Dalvin Cook will run all over this team. Okay, I actually switched them up. I have them beating the Broncos now. I had them losing before, but of how inconsistent Drew Locke is playing. I have them beating Denver now, losing to Green Bay. I think they'll beat the football team, but Ron Rivera, revenge game win, surprised me if Washington won. I think they'll lose to the Saints. I have them at 5-11. and 11. I think this team is very young. They played close to the Chiefs. I just think that they have still a year away. And then the Falcons that have 5-11, and 11, they've been playing better recently to give them um, credit, but they have a tough schedule. They have pretty much the rest of the AFC West. You have the Raiders, Chiefs, Chargers. Um, I have the Falcons being the Chargers, but you never know. Um, the Chargers could win that. I think that just the blown leads hurt the Falcons' season, so – Ben, what do you have for the Panthers and Falcons? So I have very different uh, – I still don't have them making the playoffs, but I have very different records for these teams. I have the Falcons at 4-12. and 12. 
And, okay, well, well I guess close. that's not that different, I guess. But I have the Panthers at 8-8. Eight and eight, so whoa, whoa. I have them winning a lot more games. Who do you have them beating? Um, so I think they lose to Tampa Bay. I have them beating Detroit. I have really? them beating Minnesota, beating Denver, what? losing to Green Bay, beating Washington, and like I said, upsetting the Saints. Uh, okay. They'll be on a hot streak and win that. We need to uh, talk about this. Because, look here, the Lions, uh, I thought they were starting to get hot, and then Matthew Stafford threw two picks against, like, the worst defense in the league. So not a lot of faith there, and he might miss some time too. Um, That's not good. If he does, I think the Panthers will. But Matt Stafford against – like, he's – like the Jaguars' defense. I think the Jaguars and Panthers' secondary are comparable, and he did some work against that. I know – with the Vikings, but I just don't see this team containing Dalvin Cook at all, personally. Yeah, I I think that's just me having little faith in my team. I'm not <laughs> – I uh, am trying to remember why I picked Carolina for this game. I think – I don't know. I just think Teddy Bridgewater is going to have a field day. Uh, he's already played pretty well against some of the better secondaries in the he, league. Okay. And Minnesota's is – arguably bottom three. So uh, if Christian McCaffrey is back, that'll definitely help their chances too. But yeah. I, we'll see about that. It looks like he's going to miss more time. Um, yeah, I'm praying he gets better. That's brutal. Yeah. Okay, ben, well, I... While Carolina's defense isn't great, Minnesota's is worse. So, can um, I interject? Yeah, go ahead. I want to make this quick because we still have one more division in the playoffs. But I think that t- – Teddy Bridgewater has had his good games, and he's also had some throws in place where he just hasn't made them, unfortunately. So I just think that against some of these NFC North teams, my Stafford, if he's healthy, I can just see playing very well. The Lions have seemed at the Panthers' number. I could see them maybe being the Vikings, but I don't know. I like the Panthers. I think they'll be a team better than their record. I could see them maybe going 7-9. and nine. But anyways, moving on to the NFC North, we're going to fly through this because I think we have a similar thing. I have the Packers 12-4. and four. I have them basically winning out except two teams, both of them in the AC South. Um, I thought the Packers had a good game against the Niners. I think they'll beat the Jaguars, but I think they'll lose to the Colts. That Colts defense has been pretty nice at times this season, and I don't think the Packers defense will force these types of turnovers that usually happens with Phil Rivers. I think they'll beat the Bears, beat the Eagles, beat the Lions, beat the Panthers. I think they'll lose to the Titans. The run defense for Green Bay is a big yikes. Um, I thought the Titans beat bounced back well against Chicago this week. So I think the Titans are back on track. So I have the Packers 12-4. and four. I have the Lions at 9-7. and seven. I have them – oh, actually 8-8. Eight and eight. So I have them – um, being the football team, being the Panthers, being the Texans, I think that'll be a very close game. Losing to the Bears, losing to the Packers, being the Titans, being the Buccaneers, losing to Minnesota. I I, I know some of these games seem odd. We just never know. Um, I just like the lines. I think Matthew Stafford has played well, and I think Kenny Galley is great. So I have them winning some of these. You know, the, the, the lines always kind of win these games, like what's going on. Um, and then the Bears, I have an eight and eight as well. We've talked about the Bears so much on this show. Uh, they, they're falling off a cliff, and the Vikings are eight and eight. So I have all three of these teams going eight and eight. Um, looking at Minnesota here, I think they'll actually win a lot of these games. I think they'll lose to Chicago. Could change. Cleo Mack. If that, like, Roquan Smith Ben looks so disappointed in me right now. What? No, I'm, I'm <laughs> looking at my predictions. <laughs> but if, like, Roquan Smith and this Bears defense can stuff Dalvin Cook, could win, I think they'll beat the Cowboys, Panthers, Jaguars, lose to the Buccaneers, beat the Bears, lose to the Saints, beat the Lions. So I have the Vikings at 8-8, eight and eight, actually. I think they'll bounce back in a sense. Um, that's all I have for the NFC North, Ben. So if you want to go and talk about your NFC North predictions, Overall, for the NFC, I have the Seahawks, Packers, Saints, Eagles, Buccaneers, Cardinals making the playoffs. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll talk about my NFC North real quick. So I have the Packers winning out except for one game against Detroit. I think they'll sneak it in there. Uh, I think Green Bay will handle business against Indianapolis, and I think – 
the Titans game was really hard. I think that could go either way. It's going to be really competitive. The Bears might get one of them in week 17, but uh, I I think Green Bay is a lot better than the Bears. Um, so I have them at 13-3. and three. I have the Lions at 8-8 eight and eight as well. Um, I have them beating Washington this weekend, losing to Carolina, beating Houston, Chicago, um, Green Bay, losing to the Titans and the Buccaneers, and then beating the Vikings. Um, and now if the, if the Lions can sneak in, if they can beat Carolina, which is plausible, and sneak in a win against Tennessee or Tampa Bay, that will put them in the playoffs over the Rams for me. So, But that, I feel like, is going to be kind of a stretch. I have Minnesota next in the division at 6-10. and 10. I think that they will lose to Chicago this week. Uh, the past few years, we have not played very well against Chicago. Um, I hope we beat the Cowboys. Uh, that'd be really embarrassing if we didn't. Um, I think the Panthers will beat us. Uh, we should beat the Jaguars. We should probably get absolutely toasted by the Buccaneers. They're coming off their bye week before they play us. Ooh. And that's that's not good at all. Um, <laughs> they have a good – they have a really good run defense and a really good passing attack, which is a total disaster for the Vikings. That's literally well, like the imagine kind Imagine of if they won that play. game, though. Dalvin Cook, if he got – If I they win know. that game – and we sneak into the playoffs. Holy crap, that'd be that'd be ridiculous. But I, I don't think that'll know. happen. Um, I don't think so. Yeah, I have the beating Chicago in Week 15. Um, I think they'll lose to the Saints. They just are not up to par with the Saints this year. And then I have them losing to Detroit in Week 17. And then uh-huh. I have Chicago going six and ten as well. Their last win of the season will be this weekend against my Vikings. And then they lose out the rest of the season to Green Bay, Detroit, Houston, Minnesota again, mm-hmm. Jacksonville, and Green Bay. Gotcha. Okay, Ben, let's go through these playoffs real quick. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say my Super Bowl winner and work backwards, okay? Okay. So my Super Bowl winner, I have the Seattle Seahawks. Russell okay. Wilson get ring number two. And I have them beating a team that they just lost to, the Bills. <laughs> so in the NFC Championship game, I think that the Seahawks will beat the Buccaneers. Initially, I was like, no, but this Buccaneers defense has had holes. I love Levante David and Via Vey in the middle for Tampa Bay, but I think that the corners are issues. And I like them. I just don't think they can lock down DK Metcalf and Tyler Rocket. So I have the Seahawks winning that NFC Championship game. In the divisional round, I think that – it's a Cardinals Seahawks NFC West rematch, but I think this time Pete Carroll gets the better of the Cardinals, the NFC division. On the other side is a Packers Buccaneers. This time I think the Buccaneers win again. Um, it kind of reminds me last year, like when the Packers lost to the 49ers in the regular season by a lot, and then they lost to San Fran again. I think that'll be a similar thing with Green Bay where they lose to the same team twice. In my law card, I think the Buccaneers will beat the Eagles. Philly might make it close in the beginning, but I have Tampa Bay winning. And I have Cardinals Saints. I think the Cardinals will beat the Saints. I think Cal Murray can stretch the ball downfield. I think he can score a lot of the points on that Saints defense. And I think Drew Brees will not be able to come up with it. So ultimately, I have the best man in the C. Predictions, AFC, here we go. I have an AFC championship featuring the Buffalo Bills and the Tennessee Titans. I do think the Bills learned from their loss earlier in the season, and I think they can beat the Titans. I think that their defense can step up. I think Josh Allen have a great season. I really love the coaching staff. In the divisional round, I have the Titans getting another win on the Ravens this year. On the other side, I have the Bills beating the Chiefs. I like the Chiefs a lot, and they're really good. However, they've had some close games. I just don't see them repeating as Super Bowl champions. I don't know why. Maybe their defense. And then in the wild card round, I have the Bills beating the Steelers, playing spoiler. And then I have the Ravens being the Dolphins and the Titans being the Raiders. I just don't think the Raiders' run defense is that great. I think they have struggled at that part. I think they'll be a good game. I think Tennessee matches up extremely well. I think the Ravens and Dolphins will be close, but I just trust Baltimore and this coaching staff more than Miami. And I like the Steelers, but I think if this Bills team can run up the score, I think they'll be able to win. So my Super Bowl, I have Bills, Seahawks going with something different. 
Um, you know, um, these upsets do happen. If I maybe – if I could pick one game to change, I'd maybe have – I could see the – I could actually see maybe – um, the Chiefs winning, so then be Chiefs Bills, and then uh, um, Bills Seahawks still with that Super Bowl. So I know it's a wild pick, but that's what I have currently. Um, the AFC, I think there will be some upsets, but the NFC is super close. I think any team I have making the playoffs that won the division minus Philly can win it. Um, I think it's just super close right now, and there's a lot of talent and a lot of teams that can win it. So I could see Seattle, Tom Brady, and Tampa Bay, the Packers winning it, maybe even Arizona, but that's what I have. Um, yeah, I think those are all really good predictions. I like your points you brought up. So I think we – I don't think we have any different teams in the playoffs. I think all of our playoff mm-hmm. teams are the exact same. Yeah. I think it's just the seeding that's a bit different. Mm-hmm. So in the NFC for wild card weekend, I have the Saints taking on the Eagles. Saints are going to – that's probably the only game in the playoffs that won't be close. Sorry, Tanner. I think it could be. The Eagles' defense. You know, it's not playing? good. What? No, you're, you're defense, good. no, no, some. no, it's not. If it's Darius not Slay can have some nice plays, I'm not saying it wouldn't be close, but I think he'll put up a bit of a fight. Mm, I don't False know. False hope. Okay, continue. Yeah, I don't know. It, a five-win team in the playoffs isn't really that convincing. Um, yeah, so the Buccaneers are the three seed and the Cardinals are the six seed. This is going to be – I would love very, to see that. Cameron, yeah. Tom Brady, old versus young in the postseason. Yeah, and Bruce Arians versus his old oh. team. This is going to be a very exciting game, and I think it will literally come down to the left. But I think the Buccaneers are going to win it. And I this would be my one game that might flip uh, for the NFC. Mm-hmm. Uh, the two-seed Packers are playing the seven-seed Rams. I don't That's think this I game – while I think it might be close, mm-hmm. I think – eventually the Packers will pull away and win. Yeah, um, I agree. So then going into the divisional round, the Saints have to play the Seahawks. And even though the Seahawks defense is not great, uh, the Saints defense has not been playing like it has. And that's bad news. For... I know they have one good game, but I get what you mean. I'm just – I think we're both lower on the Saints. I just think Drew Brees can't push the ball downfield. And I have them losing to teams that can do that more efficiently. Yeah, and unfortunately, they will lose to Seattle because of that. Breeze won't be able to throw the ball. They won't be able to drive quick enough in a very close game. And uh, if need be, Russell Wilson can just throw it like 50 yards and DK Metcalf or Tyler Lockett is going to be there. <laughs> or even Greg Olson. He's had a decent season. Um, uh, so my other divisional game is the Packers-Buccaneers, which we already saw this year. This was really easy for me to pick. Mm-hmm. Um, now, I know the Packers are not going to go down without a fight, so I think it'll be closer. Yeah. But I still think the Buccaneers are going to pull it out by between 10 and 14 points. I could see it like 34-20 or 34-17, something like that. Yeah, some, yeah actually, 34-17 was the exact score I was thinking of in my head right now. Um, and then, obviously, that leaves the conference championship to the Seahawks and the Buccaneers, where I have the Buccaneers taking out the Seahawks for one reason, because the Seahawks don't have a defense and the Buccaneers do. So, Buccaneers go to the Super Bowl. Fair point. It was close for me. I just yeah. – Russell Wilson's playing great. And I actually think the Buccaneers' hardest game of the playoffs in this path, where they play the Seahawks, Packers, and Cardinals, is the Cardinals game. If they can get past the Cardinals, I think they can get past the, the Packers and the Seahawks. Okay. Uh, the Cardinals' defense is better than the Seahawks, and their offense might not be as good as the Seahawks, but it's still a top-10 offense. Um, that'll be really telling. Packers, they already beat this year. Mm-hmm. Um, so moving over to the AFC, let me talk about my wild card teams. So I have the three-seed Titans playing the six-seed Dolphins. This one, even though the Dolphins have a really good defense, they're still young. The Titans are a very good team this year, and I think the Titans will win this one. Um, and this, the Dolphins being here also really depends on how well Tua plays the rest of the year. Mm-hmm. But I think that they will. I think that they will be here. He played pretty good in his two games so far. Uh, but I do think the Titans will win against the Dolphins here. Uh, my next game is the two seed Steelers versus the seven seed Ravens, and. 
Castillo was beating the Ravens twice in the regular season, and I think that they will beat them again. I I could see that. Really, this yeah, this the Steelers just match up really really well against the Ravens. They contain the run very well. And that's bad news for Lamar Jackson. They have a really good secondary. Um, it's just not going to be a fun day for the Ravens. And they don't really have an elite running back either. So they're not mm-hmm. really getting a lot of help from Mark Ingram, Gus Edwards, or J.K. Dobbins. They're all doing a little bit of stuff, but they're not playing that great, you know. Um, and then my final wild card game is the four seed Bills versus the five seed Raiders. This, like the Cardinals Bucks game, I think is going to come down to the very last play of the game. This is going to be such a fun game. Um, but I do think the Bills are going to sneak it out. Um, okay. Yeah. So then going to the divisional round, the Steelers have to play the Titans. And I have the Titans actually winning this one. I, I, think, I think the Steelers will be not a Super Bowl team. I like them, I like their defense. I just think that their offense is great, but I could see them losing. Like, their running game isn't great. I could see them, like, winning one game and then being done. Yeah. I, while, their, while their offense does match up great with the Titans. Kind of like last year's Packers. Yeah. yeah. I don't think the Steelers' defense is going to have a very fun time with Derrick Henry, Ryan Tannehill, or their uh, former wide receiver's cousin, A.J. Brown. Um I, I don't think that's going to be a fun time for them. Uh, the Titans are a very good football team, and I think they match up well with the Steelers. Despite their pass defense not being that great, I still think – and this is going to be a really close game. Um, but mm-hmm. I, I think the Titans will win this one. And the Chiefs and Bills, I think, will be pretty similar to last year, but a lot closer. I think the Chiefs are going to win this one. Um Wait, do you mean I Chiefs just, Titans or Chiefs Bills? Chiefs Bills. Did the Chiefs not play the Bills last year? That was Tennessee. They played them this season. You're right. A couple of weeks ago. I see what you mean anyways. Right. I think the Bills will keep it close, but I don't think they're quite at Super Bowl contention yet. And the Chiefs are the defending champions. And there's really no weakness on this Chiefs team. They are mm-hmm. very hard to beat. Um, mm. They haven't kept – they haven't won – their games by as much as they should have, but uh, their defense think... is not the greatest. I think I have them losing like their defense lets up a lot of points, and I think if opposing teams' defense will stay really hard and beat them, that's why I could see Tennessee or Kansas City or Tennessee right. or Buffalo, or Pittsburgh being them because of their smart defensive corners. But anyways, continue. Yeah, I just don't think that uh, the Bills will be able to keep up with the Chiefs. That's the main thing with this game. Um, We've talked about the Bills' defense being a bit underperforming compared to previous years, and I think they'll come back to bite them here. Um, so that means for the conference championship, it's a repeat of last year with the Chiefs and the Titans, except this time the Titans are the third seed. Um, unfortunately, the Titans are still going to lose this game. I think the Chiefs are going back to the Super Bowl to play the Buccaneers, and I think Tom Brady is going to get number seven. Uh, Ooh, yeah, okay. He's then. going to add to his collection. I don't – this Be is Thanos. a really tough game. But Thanos he, Brady. Yeah, so the Chiefs – the just, this game will all come down to the Chiefs-Buccaneers game in the regular season. Whoever wins that game I think will also win the Super Bowl. Okay, um, I could see that. And I have the Buccaneers winning that game. So I think that they will win the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. But it could very well be the Chiefs. All right, guys. Um, good predictions. Yours, Ben's, is more straightforward. I, I just like to do different things with my predictions just because of last year with the Titans and stuff. I'm just throwing stuff out there. I know mine is not realistic. Realistically, I could see the Seahawks, Chiefs, Buccaneers, one of those three teams, mainly the Steelers, winning it. Anyways, all, that will do it for the Main to Man Coverage Podcast. Let us know what you think of this format. Until then, see you all and have a good one. Peace. Yep.